What is going on, everybody? It's Chris here with the Enchanted Model Car Garage, bow tie lover as well as you know me. And guys, I've been away for a while, and I'm sorry. I tell you, I I was building, going crazy, just doing this every night, doing all kinds of stuff, and you know, life got in the way. Our daughter, she shows cattle um, and livestock, and we just we just got so busy. This got to be uh, it just got to be a chore for me, you know, and. And I just had to step away for a while. I haven't been doing much. I have been on YouTube watching videos, commenting on videos, but I've just been laying low for a while. Um, I have been building off and on, and I'm going to share with you some of the projects you may remember that I was building uh, before I quit making some videos. Uh, the, the other reason that I also um, quit doing some of the videos, I was having trouble with the camera syncing on the computer and uploading to YouTube. So the other day, um, my wife and I made a video. We have another channel that um, is called Our Little Lodge, and that's for my one-to-one -one crew cab dually Cummins powered Chevy pickup that is our retirement rig, and we've got a big truck camper. And so anyway, we started a channel just for the truck camper, the truck, the the, the build, and um, our travel stories so, so uh, there's a plug for my other channel man you guys gotta go check that bad boy out you're gonna dig it if, if you're a true gearhead and, and you like some one-to-one -one stuff um, again that one's called Our Little Lodge uh, and, and like I said you can find us we're out there on Facebook we're out there on YouTube and we, we're just blowing that up guys are, are digging that we really like it so if you get a chance go check it out send your friends over there that's our uh, travel retirement truck and, and I think you'll dig it so anyway um, back on the bench here um, man I'm just tickled I get to make another video though this is great I, I, I missed every one of you guys and I've been watching you so let, let me get to some of this real quick and then I'm gonna show you some new a new project that I got coming up for the GSL that's gonna be coming up I believe it's 2019 so we've got all next year to get ready for that um, guys if you'll remember I was building this Chevy for uh, my wife, this was that 1950 uh, GMC pickup, and let me uh, zoom in here for you, okay? And you're gonna see this bad boy. So you guys will remember this thing was on the bench for a while, and uh, I finally got this bad boy finished up. This was the 1950 GMC Napco four-wheel drive conversion truck so it started out as just the Texaco AMT 1950 GMC pickup okay I hope you can see all that so my wife really liked this truck and wanted me to do it like a Dallas Cowboy truck so I worked on it and and did it it is painted in the blue and the silver you can see that the visor has the white Let me get a close-up of that engine, fellers. It does have the plug wires. This has that Oldsmobile uh, Rocket V8 in it. So the truck originally had the inline six. Also, if you look at the hood, you can see the Ghost Star in it. I know you'll dig that. A few little things I got to do. I still got to put the license plates on it. I still got to put the side badges on it. Um, there's a window air conditioner that's going to go over here where this finger is. Like I said, there'll be a window air on that. But guys, I think you can see she's a beauty. Looks like I got some reflection there on it. Yeah, I got some light reflection on that paint. Uh, the, the, the paint is all Model Master lacquer. And then there are... I believe it's four coats of the clear. If you guys remember, uh, Louis showed us a long time back that uh, there was a clear out there that didn't yellow, and that was by, um, oh, crud, fellas. That was by Rust-Oleum, I believe it was. Let me look at the can here, fellas. Yep. Rust-Oleum lacquer. If you remember, Louis showed us that one time. I went out and bought a case of it. He raved on it, said it didn't yellow. And this has been the best lacquer I've ever used. And on that truck, I did four four coats of that. So, 
All right, the next little thing that uh, I have been working on, I kind of started this as a slump buster um, on, on, on my uh, builds. Let me back this out so you can kind of see me, fellas. I feel weird just talking. You don't see me. There we go. So, guys, if you remember, I told you I build cars that are special to me, either ones that I wanted to own or friends or family have owned or that they want to own. And uh, just like that 50 GMC, I've always wanted a Napco 4x4 truck. And when I built that uh, for my wife, because she really dug it, I knew I was going to make it a Napco 4x4 conversion, which I did. And then I thought, man, being an old gearhead back in the day, what would they have done? They would have put that old V8 in there. And that's what I did. So that truck's got that old Rocket V8, wired, plumbed. It's got the line for the carburetor. I don't know if you saw it in that, you know, in that shoot. But I'm going to do another video on that as soon as I get it all completely finished. So anyway, slump buster build. Sitting down here just kind of, eh, you know, I, I'd worked on that 50 GMC and I just wanted something quick. Well, because I'm so detail oriented in my mind and so picky, nothing is quick. So my builds tend to drag out a little bit. All right. So anyway, I went to school with a guy and his name was... Uh, Manny, Manny Gallegos, and he had a little Nissan, back then they were 720s, um, pickup trucks, you guys will remember when you see his body, you're going to remember it, well, Ravel introduced the kit, okay, so anyway, Beverly Hagewood, who is on Facebook, and I buy kits off of Facebook from like Jim Pardini and Beverly, uh, she had the original issue kit that was done by Monogram, so I bought I bought the kit. I got a good deal on it from her. And uh, going back to Manny, Manny had this little pickup when we were in high school, and he had it like a sky blue, and he had the white little topper. And sometimes he'd take the topper off and he'd put put a roll bar in it. And I just I loved that little truck. So uh, I built it, and it's still a project, but I'm gonna show it to you. I think you guys are gonna dig this, man. So let's let's take a look. Give me a sec, or fellas. All right, so here is basically the Monogram 720. Okay, now, like I said, it's still a project. I don't have the glass in it. I don't have the interior. I painted the body. I got the chassis all done. I did the, the chassis in my standard Hammerite uh, paint. You can see I haven't even detailed the lettering on the back. Uh, it's got the, the roll bar. And you see those lights? Guys, I'm telling you. This thing is a beauty. I absolutely just love how it's turning out. You can see the engine in there. Again, uh, st still working on it, so don't bust my chops too bad. There's the underneath. Again, I did it in my standard Hammerite black. Detailed all the bolt heads, did the exhaust work, fuel tank, and of course spare tire. Okay? So that was supposed to be my slump buster, and like I said, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not fast on any of my builds and I get too detail oriented and I'm, I'm my own worst enemy on that stuff so uh, let, let me tell you where we're at on that deal I've still got the interior that I'm working on let me share it with you there's that interior boys okay I still got some detail work I got to clean up the door, the door panels, they look like garbanzo, if you know what I'm saying. I just don't like the way they came out. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the seats. The whole inside of that thing is looking pretty cool. And again, you can see I've got her detailed out. So I got to finish this. I did paint the underneath, so whenever it gets on the chassis, it'll all blend. So we got that to do. Um, I'll finish detailing out the engine compartment a little bit, paint some of the bottles, the overflow, the coolant, that kind of thing. Uh, I did tint the glass. Again, I think it kind of came out like crap, so I got to clean it up. You'll see some marks on these edges, but I did tint it. I tinted the back, and uh, I just think it came out like crap, so I got to work on that a little bit. No big deal. All right, so that was one you guys had never seen before. The other one that you guys had seen that I was working on was the... Um, El Camino, and that was my parts running vehicle for my uh, Enchanted uh, Motors. And, and by the way, guys, it's Enchanted Model Garage, but I changed it to just Enchanted Motors. Uh, or excuse me, Enchanted, gosh darn, 
Enchanted Motors Scale Garage is what I've got it now. So uh, again, that's Enchanted Motors Scale Garage. And uh, so my truck, or, or the vehicle I, I was building as a parts running vehicle, fictitious, was this El Camino, okay? And I got most of the body work done. These I just sanded out uh, last weekend. They're nice and smooth. I'm ready to shoot some primer, see how my lines are. And then uh, I've got it to cow hood. I'll tape from underneath, and then I'll prime, or I'll, I'll uh, you know, uh, get it ready for primer and then prime it check everything and then i'll get ready to start laying down some paint um the engine for that oh boy look at you look at that fillet. get you some now the one thing i'm doing with this here engine okay i've still got to wire it i got to plumb it and i'm putting nitrous on it okay and uh let me zoom in on this. There is a company, VCG Resins. Now those guys used to make, I don't know if you can see it, they used to make those nitrous solenoids and I bought the intake with the solenoids and for some darn reason you can no longer get these. But that's okay because I bought a lathe and I'm gonna make them out of aluminum. And in that way, when you paint the red or the blue, they're going to look more realistic. So I'm excited to make those on my lathe. Uh, that'll be one of the first things I build on that little mini lathe. So um, we're going to get that done. And I, I just want to say thank you to my father because I went to visit and I worked on their RV for him. And my dad gave me that little lathe that he bought for himself, but he never uses it. And he gave it to me and, and I now have it for the models. So... Thanks, Dad. I love you, man. All right. Uh, let, let, let's get to some more goodies, okay? The other thing that I've been working on, and we got to kind of keep this one quiet because I don't want Mama knowing. I, I think she's going to be excited when she sees this. I've been building this little tea bucket. Oh, crud. I lost one of the tires, fellas. That's all right. You can see I did the the decaling on the side that is barbed wire there's the front there's that there's the other side like I said I lost that little tire off of it let me let me get this put back together fella Woohoo! yeah boy one more look before she gets put up all right now fellas look so I detailed the stacks on it Check it out, boy. What do you know about that, huh? Took some bobby pins and cut the heads off, and they look like gold, and I glued them on the top of those piano stacks. So that's going to look really cool on that engine. I got uh, the exhaust. You see I did the gold plating. Very happy with how that bad boy come out. All right, so it's for the sides of the engine, for the exhaust. And this weekend... I got the wood all detailed out and I painted the the bolts brass so that way I can get ready to start putting the body together guys this is the uh, little stogie kit from AMT the little covered wagon <laughs> and that cool wood. my wife and I we really liked the uh, Western Heritage uh, we go to the Chuck Wagon cook-offs, and uh, I just thought it'd be cool. She doesn't know I'm building it. I told her it'd be a surprise, and uh, I just think it's so cool, man. I'm digging it. Look at that, boy. Look, fellas, I'm telling you, it's cool. You can see the wood grain's coming out awesome. Um, I'll show you the other side of that. Here you go, fellas. Look at that, huh? Get you some of that. All right. I hope you can see that okay. Yeah. So anyway, I got I got that in the works. Um, that should be together in the next few weeks. So now let me get to what I'm really excited to share with you. Oh, one more project. Um, the big semi truck. I've still had a lot of people ask me about that. The Western truck and guys. I 
I do want to get back on that because I love the big trucks. I just need to get back on that. I need to get back on the old uh, International, the wrecker I was going to do. Uh, Aries, you'll know what I'm talking about, brother, because you and I had the same idea on them. Uh, me and Christina, we never did finish our little um, project we was going to do together. And, and guys, I just don't know. She's uh, getting ready to go off to college, and I just, I just don't know what's going to happen with that. It may be somewhere I just build her kit for her and, and go from there. But uh, I'll share that in time. Those will be other videos, okay? So let me get to my newest project that I am going to, what I, I want to try and do is do a, a video of this build all the way through and, and do it like a live feed uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing instead of just, I do it and then show you that's what I did. So uh, let, let me introduce the project. Now, uh, I graduated high school, I was living on my own, I walked into a King Supers, was buying groceries one day, and I walked over and found this issue of Street Rider Magazine. And that car on the front... I fell in love with that's the insanity okay and uh, this is dated back in December 1992 fellas and guys I'm telling you look at that beautiful thing look at that beautiful car and I'm telling you to this day that car to me is still just beautiful I still love that car to this day so I'm gonna build it okay I did some research I found these pictures on your interweb Okay, it is sitting in a, uh, it looks like some kind of, it's, 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 it's in somebody's garage now. The, the, the kid that built it sold it. Um, but anyway, I went in and, and found all these pictures and printed them off. Uh, it's going to be my reference material. I got them with the chassis. I mean, I got everything. All right. So anyway, as I've compiled all my information on this car and I've put all my plan into action, that's going to be our reference material. That's the first kit we're going to use, and the most of the thing I wanted was the rear tires. That's really the only reason I bought this kit. Um, next kit, I'm using two of these, okay? So I have two of them. Now, out of all three kits, the engines were all molded with the um, oil pan and everything on it. This car, I'm going to be so detail-oriented... And I'm sparing no expense on this. So I will machine parts. I'll send parts out to be re-chrome plated. This car I'm building for the GSL in Salt Lake for 2019. Okay. So that gives me a whole year and a couple months to get this thing done. So I wasn't happy with the engine. I found online um, an engine kit that had, it was from a model kit that an old boy had. And I was able to piece it together. So, uh... Then I bought a 400 automatic transmission. Now, the car was built with a 350 transmission. I do not like 350 transmissions. I like the 400. I think they're better, especially when you put out that kind of power. So, I did find a 400. Let me see, fellas. All right. So, right now, this is not even glued. I'm using uh, micro liquid tape. And this stuff works great for just temporary holding power, okay? So again, you can see that I've taken the block and I put the heads on it and then I've just, now those are glued and then this is resin and this is styrene and all I did was use that uh, sticky glue just to kind of mock it up for right now. Okay, so, th so that part I'm going to work on this evening. Um, the other thing we've got, fellas, is there is the chassis and the tub, all right? One thing I have done is I cut the bottom off of the radiator piece and I filled, put in the filler. Now, in studying the drawings tonight, what I have learned, let me show you. You can see how the frame rail gets skinny right through here and it curves. On that car, they cut that and they extended the rails and made them the same thickness as the back. And then they're straight. Instead of curved down like this, they're straight. So I'm going to cut this back here and make the other chassis to it and do all my seam work and everything you won't even know. And that'll that'll get my this lip right here where it's curved. It's going to get that lip out of there and make it straight just like it is on the one-to-one -one car. Um, so I showed you that uh, on, the, on the transmission there. And uh, sorry guys. I'm just trying to find all my little parts and pieces here for you. The grill, I cut down the grill already. 
you can see the mold line or the cut line in there on that grill where I cut it and re-glued it and I put the back on it okay I then took the chrome insert on that grill and I cut it with a real fine saw and I'll be honest with you fellas I'm pretty proud of it because I don't you'll see the you'll see that line this line right here okay well that is a an actual scribed line that's in the part now if you just look I don't even know if you can see if you look just below it you'll see my cut line I don't know if you can see it and to be honest with you I love it I love it so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna strip it and I'm gonna send it back out for chrome plating and you're never gonna see that but that way that's gonna have the same grill that that car had on it and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be gold now obviously I got to clean up the the shell because you'll see the line in it if you look at that line see we're gonna clean all that up you won't even see that <laughs> oh fellas I'm telling you okay so where are we at here I showed you the the project car that's project ghost that's what I call it so as I make these videos I'll refer to project ghost and you'll see this thing unfold bear with me as I set this video thing up and uh, get it going guys I've rattled on long enough you don't want to hear my old fat belly just hollering all night so I just want to let you know I'm alive Guys, I'm up to like 400 some subscribers, and for me, that's huge. I never thought I'd get that many, and, and I thank you each and every one for subscribing. And listen, I'm watching what you're doing, and I'm loving what you guys are doing, and thank you so much for watching uh, my videos. It, you know, I feel very honored and privileged that you guys would take time to watch my stuff, like me, follow me, and I love it, and I, and I love you guys for that. Uh, that's what I love about the community. That's why I got back into this. Guys, uh... Again, send your friends, send your family, uh, send them over here to the Enchanted uh, Motors now, but the Enchanted Scale Garage, and um, hopefully they'll dig what we're doing. Ask them to subscribe, watch the videos, like them, and uh, of course, go check out my other channel. That's, uh, again, that's the uh, Our Little Lodge, and you're going to dig it. So, uh, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I have just had a blast with you all this evening just tickled gosh darn i'm so tickled i'm just tickled pink i'm glad you're watching me i hope you're digging it and uh I, I, listen shoot me the questions whatever you got for me and i'm gonna keep you posted on this project ghost you've seen phase one um that's the engine mock-up and i'm getting ready to get to that here in a minute and then uh we'll make another video so you guys can see that okay but uh fellas and ladies have a great weekend and gosh darn, be safe because it is getting crazy out there anymore. I pray for each and every one of us for our safety. And guys, I thank you each and every one. Y'all have a good night. You have a good week. And I'm out.